Welcome back again with us. This episode of Military TV is brought to you about Phalanx SeaWiz. First of all, let's see what Phalanx SeaWiz is and who made it. The Phalanx is a close-in weapon system, or CIWS, is a largely defensive piece of kit designed to shoot down incoming anti-ship missiles. The Phalanx is arguably the most cutting-edge SeaWiz currently around, sporting a powerful 20mm, 0.8-inch M61 Vulcan autocannon, advanced dual antenna KU band radar array, and huge 1,550 round munitions drum. It was designed and manufactured by the General Dynamics Corporation Pomona Division, later a part of Raytheon. The Phalanx close-in weapon system was developed as the last line of automated weapon defense or point defense against anti-ship missiles and attacking aircraft, including high and maneuvering sea skimmers. Based on the Federation of American Scientists, Phalanx production started in 1978 with orders for 23 U.S. Navy and 14 foreign military sales systems. Phalanx is a point defense total weapon system consisting of two 20mm gun mounts that provide a terminal defense against incoming air targets. The first prototype system was offered to the U.S. Navy for evaluation on the destroyer leader USS King in 1973 and was determined that additional improvements were required to improve performance and reliability. Subsequently, the Phalanx operational suitability model successfully completed its operational test and evaluation on board the destroyer USS Bigelow in 1977. And now let's see how the Phalanx SeaWiz works. The Phalanx is mounted to a variety of vessels in the US Navy, where it is tasked with defending every class of surface combat ship. The defense comes courtesy of thousands of armor-piercing tungsten and depleted uranium rounds, which are projected from the autocannon at 1,100 meters, 3,610 feet per second. For perspective, that's the equivalent of traveling the length of Manchester United's football pitch about 10 times in a second. The round's trajectories are dictated by a built-in fire control system. This central computer can instantly calculate the probability of the phalanx taking a target out, as well as what fire rate and pattern is needed. The control system is fed data from the two antennas of the KU band radar, with a wide aperture search antenna picking up incoming threats, and a gun laying antenna taking care of the fine, narrow aperture object targeting. In addition to providing defense against incoming missiles and shells, the phalanx can also operate against more traditional targets, such as small surface vessels thanks to the inclusion of a forward-looking infrared FLIR sensor. This tech detects infrared radiation. For example, heat signatures helps the phalanx deal out massive damage to enemy ships. Due to the evolution of threats and computer technology, the Phalanx system has been developed through several configurations. The basic style is the Block Zero, equipped with first-generation solid-state electronics and with marginal capabilities against surface targets. The Block One 1988 upgrade offered various improvements in radar, ammunition, computing power, rate of fire, and an increase in maximum engagement elevation to plus 70 degrees. These improvements were intended to increase the system's capability against emerging Russian supersonic anti-ship missiles. Block 1A introduced a new computer system to counter more maneuverable targets. The Block 1B PSUM Phalanx Surface Mode 1999 adds a forward-looking infrared FLIR sensor to make the weapon effective against surface targets. This addition was developed to provide ship defense against small vessels, threats, and other floaters in littoral waters and to improve the weapon's performance against slower, low-flying aircraft. The FLIR's capability is also of use against low-observability missiles and can be linked with the RIM-116 Rolling Airframe Missile RAM system to increase RAM engagement range and accuracy. The Block 1B also allows for an operator to visually identify and target threats. The SeaWiz is designed to be the last line of defense against anti-ship missiles. Due to its design criteria, its effective range is very short relative to the range of modern anti-ship missiles, from 1 to 5 nautical miles, 2 to 9 kilometers. The gun mount moves at a very high speed and with great precision. The system takes minimal inputs from the ship, making it capable of functioning despite potential damage to the ship. The only inputs required for operation are 440 volts AC three-phase electric power at 60 Hz and water for electronics cooling. For full operation, including some non-essential functions, it also has inputs for ship's true compass heading and 115 volt AC for the PASS subsystem. 
As we see in the video, the Sea Wiz has two antennas that work together to engage targets. The first antenna for searching is located inside the radome on the system control group, top of the white painted portion. The search subsystem provides bearing, range, velocity, heading, and altitude information of potential targets to the Sea Wiz computer. This information is analyzed to determine whether the detected object should be engaged by the Sea Wiz system. The Block Zero Sea Wiz mounts, hydraulic driven, fired at a rate of 3,000 rounds per minute and held 989 rounds in the magazine drum. The Block 1 Sea Wiz mounts, hydraulic, also fired at 3,000 rounds per minute with an extended magazine drum holding 1,550 rounds. The Block 1A and newer, pneumatic driven Sea Wiz mounts fire at a rate of 4,500 rounds per minute with a 1,550 round magazine. The velocity of the rounds fired is about 3,600 feet per second, 1,100 meters per second. The rounds are armor piercing tungsten penetrator rounds or depleted uranium with discardable sabos. There are many other subsystems that together ensure proper operation such as environmental control, transmitter, mount movement control, power control and distribution, and so on. It takes six to eight months to train a technician to maintain, operate, and repair the SeaWiz. Our 20s will be first.